over one million students drop out of high school every year. Of these, more than a third are diagnosed with learning disabilities. This is a film about five students with learning disabilities who are fighting the odds against them. Three are from public school. Two are from a private school for students with learning differences. I have asked the students to make this film with me. Over a period of five months, they will learn to observe the workings of their own mind. We started out with a model of how our minds work. In order to learn, our brains use a set of tools that must work together, like the instruments in an orchestra. The basic idea is that we're all strong in some areas and weak in others. It's hard for me to understand what I read. See, I don't like to read. I have trouble remembering where I left things. <laughs> A. I can listen well in school without moving around or fidgeting. Um, E. Early on in our time together, the students interviewed each other on how their minds work. Their answers to 128 questions provided a profile of their neurodevelopmental strengths and weaknesses, which was the beginning of a deeper understanding. That's the task I gave the five protagonists in this film, understanding and articulating how their minds work. Here is what we learned together. If I introduced myself to another me, I would probably think, well, he has very low self-esteem. I was at Albany High School. That was, like, disastrous, I guess you could say. I was someone who was completely different from, from everyone else, and when that sort of thing happens, everyone is either staying far, far away from you or trying to get back at you just for being different. And um, I was just having a terrible time with all of my classes, really. He had very high verbal skills, yet very low percentile ability to just analyze information. Um, frequently, kids with what Kerrigan has um, are never caught. The experience they have is that they know something is going on, but no one else knows because they can talk well. I started noticing that the teachers would kind of uh, single me out in that I was, you know, not necessarily paying attention all the time. Sometimes my assignments wouldn't even get done. I would say eighth grade was the moment when just things just kind of collapsed. I would try to do something just as I had been told to or just as I was certain I was supposed to. And Many, many times after doing that, everything would just fall apart. I feel like trying is not useful whatsoever when that stuff happens. A good majority of the kids detested me simply for the fact that I wear makeup. At first, I just thought that it was like something that I felt I could be good at if I tried hard enough, and there weren't many things that were like that. I started to realize that, that I did this to make myself look completely different from the person that I really was so that I could hide myself from people when I was, like, really depressed about something. I'm pretty short for a 16-year-old. I was diagnosed with Noonan syndrome. It includes weak thigh muscles and trunk. It's actually also cardiomyopathy, which is like a murmur. I was like murmuring my heart. And it's also like stigmatism, which I have. 
and learning disabilities. When it comes to reading social cues, like physical cues, it's hard.